what else? That's it. Now we're about to smooth, guys. A whip bread. <laughs> I like it. Are you going to keep that up? Because I'm here for it. Uh, so it is the big uh, happy Dominican Independence Day. Yeah. February 27, 2020. It's, it's the 176th anniversary of the Dominican Republic. I didn't realize it was the country was that old. I would have, yeah. you know, because a lot of the Caribbean countries gained their independence in the late 50s and right. 60s. Oh, we were one of the first. Uh, wow, not. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. uh, Dominican Republic is also uh, the, uh, the first country that uh, Christopher Columbus arrived in. Yes. Did you, I knew oh. that. Yeah. I knew he actually did not arrive in America. No. He arrived in the Dominican Republic. Yeah. Mm. Now, after many years of being a Spanish colony and then being occupied by Haiti, mm -hmm. it was in 1838. Oh, the separated. founding father's name is, do you know? The founding father? Of the Dominican Republic. It, I only know it in Spanish. Juan Pablo Duarte. Juan, Juan Pablo Duarte. Yes. yes. He created a secret society named La Trinitara. La Trinidad. Or what? as we say in Long Island, <laughs> La Trinitara. <laughs> La Trinitario. Yes. Yes. <laughs> in which he, along with the other leaders, Francisco del Ooh, Rosario beautiful. Sanchez yeah. and Mateus Ramon Mea, yeah. fought against the Haitian repression to gain independence. And separate right. from Hispaniola, and then we right. became Haiti and the Dominican Republic. It's actually pretty ironic that we're celebrating our independence because there's a lot of protesting um, going on in the Dominican Republic right now. We had a huge issue with our election um, on the 16th. So mm. this was actually the first time that the Dominican Republic, um, they invested a bunch of money on electronic voting. And as people are voting, like an hour into the election, governor, government officials are like, we need to put this to a pause. There's an issue with the count and there will be no more what? like election until we figure it out. Wow. Yeah. That it's, seems like a rigged system there. Mm. Yes. So, right, because all of a sudden they didn't like the how the results right. were, were coming in. Right. And then they claim, yeah. I mean, that would be the conspiracy theory, yeah. that they claim, and I don't put it past. I, Damn. I don't put it past. Right, they don't like the results, so they said, you know what? We're going to say there's something wrong with the this election machine. the first time that we had worked with those election machines. Also, it was the first time that they the country actually invested, I believe it was over $15 million uh -huh. in these like voting machines for them to not work wow. all of a sudden. And people have been protesting since the 16th. I did not know that. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. are the protests big going on down there? Like oh, big? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Like all over like the central um, electoral and like the government, basically like our little White House. Right. Yeah. So, oh, we're, so were they saying it. that like the opposition was winning? Um, I mean, well, the thing with know. the parties in DR, first of all, there's like multiple like right. parties, but yeah, the yeah. party that should be leading still was apparently not in the lead. Yeah. So yes, the opposing party. The opposing party was winning. Yeah. Huh. Dang. So something's wrong with the machines. Oh. Right. It's so what, so what's going to happen there? You're the expert uh, on the Dominican Republic. We should take. I, um, we should. We should I go don't out know. There and I'm a little disappointed in in the government. It's very corrupt. Um, where we've developed so much, but there's still, you know, third world tendencies, and yeah. there's moments like this where, unfortunately, like government officials take advantage. Mm. And uh, here we are, but we're still an independent country. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're an independent <laughs> from what? From, right. you know, if you're independent, but you have tyranny and a dictator, yeah. I mean, you don't have free and fair elections and freedom to do what you want and freedom to have your own representative. Yeah. How so this has been you? the first time that there's not like huge festival like oh, celebration things sad. like back home. Oh, so here I, am, here I am saying happy Independence Day. <laughs> right. And then I hear all of this. I didn't know that was going on. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's wow. what you got me for, Brad. That's right. Little Dominican girl right. on set. Exactly. Right. That's what that's what boss lady's here for, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, exactly uh, Donald for. Trump. Uh, Speaking is of taking, independence. He's <laughs> taking he's taking control of the coronavirus. Uh, response here in the United States uh, and he has put Vice President Mike Pence in charge of battling the coronavirus. Uh, Trump said, okay. to, he says, we're doing really well and Mike is going to be in charge. He's not the czar. Don't view Mike as the czar, but everybody has to pass whatever they're saying and doing through Mike Pence. Now, uh, the White House news conference, alongside members of the administration's coronavirus task force and health officials, the president insisted that the risk to the American people is very, very low. 
Now, uh, there's an issue with Mike Pence being in charge of the coronavirus response because he did not do a very good job when he was governor of Indiana in response to HIV. Mm. Uh, as a matter of fact, he is blamed by almost every professional, healthcare professional, for an HIV outbreak, outbreak. in oh, Indiana wow. because as a conservative Republican, he uh, prevented uh, new needles, clean needles, from being what? given out to pay to people who were using drugs, and, some, and as a result, people were using dirty needles, yeah. and there was a result. A resulting Jeez. was an outbreak of HIV wow. in Indiana. So this is exactly who the, we should trust with right. the coronavirus. It was, it was the state's no. worst outbreak ever. So, Give me so now, else. Yale epi epidemiologist Greg Gonzalez who conducted the research linking the Indiana HIV outbreak to Governor Pence's policies, tweeted that the decision speaks of a lack of seriousness by the White House. Mm. He tweeted, oh my fucking God. <laughs> uh, he's putting at vice president, this is the Yale lead Yale epidemiologist. Right. Uh, he's so <laughs> Epidemiologist, his first tweet is, oh my fucking God. <laughs> All right, I mean, I have to say something. That scares the hell out yeah. of me. When like the Ivy League guy right. Right. freaks out. Know. And he's like, oh my fucking yeah. God, look who's in charge of this coronavirus. <laughs> He says he's putting at Vi Vice President Mike Pence in charge of hashtag coronavirus USA. This is a man that totally botched HIV outbreak in Indiana. This is not a good idea and speaks to a lack of seriousness at the White House. Uh, yeah, that's scary. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, I read up a little more on this coronavirus. It's okay. really... Oh, what did you discover? Uh, it's, I'll tell you what I discovered. You know, cause is I'll, it true that black people are immune to it? It is not true. Damn. <laughs> it is not true. Yo, Damn. Yo. It is not true. No one is safe, Yo-Yo. No, no one is safe. I read safe. an article. No, no. Yeah, no, no I like, have to... Yo-Yo? Did you read? Did you see yo -yo, that? Yo-Yo, that is an urban myth. Black people. Yo-Yo wrote the article. Black people are just as susceptible to the coronavirus Damn. as white people, as Dominican Damn. people, as Chinese people, as and quite frankly, every people, Damn. no matter where you are, is susceptible I'm to the gonna, coronavirus. I'm still gonna believe it. Yo-Yo think, yo -yo yo -yo thinks he's not Putting gonna get it. Putting out fake news, Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo, Re that is not research true. Research it, guys. Now, there's an article out there. No, there's not. Now, we talked about yesterday. We talked that as fake news, Yo-Yo. Yeah. Now, <laughs> we talked about yesterday. Now we talked about yesterday that there was about, based on the statistics, there was about a three percent probability at the moment right. of dying from coronavirus, mm -hmm. uh, and there's a less than one percent. We talked about this I'm yesterday not, on the show, not, yeah, and a less than flu. one percent chance of the flu. Affluenza. And now the New York Times came out. You know, they must have heard our show yesterday. Of course. Okay. <laughs> and they came out with an article. Uh, usually happens like that, right? Uh, a lot of the late night shows see what we do and copy us. Yes. Right. So now the New York Times is as well. So they Add saw them to the list. they saw our show yesterday, and then they came out with an article today. I don't know if they saw our show, but there was an article today that's fake news. Right. Okay, I don't know if they watch New York Times watches. Uh, it's a newspaper. That's an inanimate object, but maybe someone from the New York Times watches. Yes. Right. Uh, nevertheless. Has nothing to do with what we were talking about yesterday, but they came out with the same subject matter in which we were talking about yesterday, the odds of dying from coronavirus. Oh, yeah, yeah. which is important. Yeah, it's very important to know because everybody's scared and everyone thinks if you get the coronavirus, you're a dead human being. Right. And the fact is that the fatality rate in China was 2.3%. The Now, what they're saying, though, is that almost 80% of the people who got coronavirus? Are you listening, Yo-Yo? This is really important. Yes, this is I was, for. The I was show. checking us on Twitter. I know. Uh, 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 no, but th <laughs> but listening. this is, but this is really, really important. Twenty, um, two point three percent of people in China who got the coronavirus, based on their statistics, died. Right. However. 80% of people who are exposed to coronavirus, scientists believe, only show symptoms of a very bad cold or a mild flu. So mm -hmm. they believe, actually, that there are a lot more people in China who had the coronavirus 
that yeah. were not counted as having the coronavirus because, because they were like a it was a, like a, a flu a or a cold yeah. or a cough and they didn't have a fever, they didn't get pneumonia, they didn't need to be hospitalized, right. they were not seriously ill. So as a matter of fact, according to this article in the New York Times, they believe actually that the number, that the odds of dying from coronavirus is less than what the statistics show now. How much lower? Nobody really knows because we don't have a full accounting Right. Of, the, of, of the coronavirus. The other thing that's happening with the coronavirus is even though the symptoms go away, there are now two or three cases, one in, one in Japan, one in Germany, where the coronavirus lays latent in your body. And there was a woman in Japan who was hospitalized with the coronavirus, then recovered, was tested, no more coronavirus, and two weeks later, got it again. Oh, wow. So no. now there's a concern that even though you recover from the coronavirus, at least in these two patients, one in Japan, one in Germany, that it could lay latent in your body and come back a second time. I'm with Don Harriet. I think it's more serious than we know. I think that these articles, people are paying them to say this because if you if you know that there's something out there that's going to like make everybody go crazy like you're gonna you're gonna have to get the media to you know downplay stuff i me personally i believe it's bigger than what they're trying to say it is, is but this, that's just me this my is, opinion this is the man who just said black people don't get it yeah i mean that that you was, were that, joking that like a, around that, yeah that's a joke but i right. definitely think like just like when stuff was going on in the middle east like a decade ago and the media was showing stuff they were saying that this is exactly what's happening right now and it was like old footage or it wasn't even footage from the place like that's what the media does they control our minds i think it's bigger now i'll give you my advice my opinion okay go to the local store go look at the back of a clorox bottle and lysol too okay on the back of a clorox bottle it tells you all the different diseases that the Clorox bottle, the bleach will kill. Mm -hmm. On that list is coronavirus, mm -hmm. which means coronavirus has been around a lot longer than these last couple of weeks. Oh, wow. It's been around long enough for Clorox bleach to put coronavirus on the back of their Literally. instruction to say oh, wow. that it kills it. So okay. my belief is coronavirus has been around forever most people got it and just thought they had the flu or mm -hmm. a virus and unfortunately there was a huge outbreak in china because people started eating raw animals it's like ebola it's been around it comes it goes it comes it goes mm -hmm. and i believe rather than they're putting out fake this is my opinion mm -hmm. then rather than they're putting out fake articles to downplay it i believe the news is upplaying it because mean, people are freaking out and they're watching the news and they're buying the papers. Oh my God, the coronavirus is coming. Regardless, the, that's the my news, opinion. Regardless, between both of our opinions, the news is lying to us. Damn straight. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Damn straight. That but you know who doesn't lie, agree. guys? Hmm. Us right here. We right. shut out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Meanwhile, the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control in Atlanta, Georgia, mm -hmm. uh, a place that Yo-Yo uh, likes to go to. Yeah. What? Right? No. No? <laughs> no. You don't like to go to Atlanta? Oh, Atlanta, yeah, but not the CDC. No, you don't like to go to the CDC, <laughs> but you like to go to Atlanta. Oh, I thought you were talking about the right. CDC. Like, <laughs> <laughs> place Yo-Yo likes to hang out, the Centers for Disease Control. You mean no, that's, that's you not like where you're going to Atlanta. I do like going to Atlanta. I know. It's one of your favorite yeah. places. Yeah, I do. <laughs> um, they have given some suggestions on how to protect yourself from the coronavirus. Okay. Okay, first of all, if you are going to wear a mask, <laughs> make sure that your side whiskers... That's you, Yo-Yo. Mm -hmm. Your soul patches. That's you, Yo-Yo. The handlebar mustache, not you. They're good to go. Okay. okay? Meaning that you have to be able to get the mask over it. Over okay. it. So it so has to the, be all over it. Correct. This. Because oh. what the hair pulls the mask off your face and the virus can come underneath. Ooh. So for people who have facial hair, you should be shaving. If, if yep, yeah, uh huh. Oh no, I ain't yep, shaving. Yep. Now mask and rest and and uh, you know long like stubble, too. a beard, mud and chops. 
Mutton chops, those are the big things that come down here. Do people still do those? In Tennessee, yes. <laughs> uh, nowhere else, but in Tennessee, they have those mutton chops. Uh, Oklahoma. People, Oklahoma, too. Yeah. All right, if you're listening in Oklahoma or Tennessee, you got one of these babies? Cover up. Cover up. Uh, that's not going to help you protect you from the coronavirus. How do you cover that? So, you, really, if you got those mutton chops, you got to you got to really think long and hard. Am I going? Is it worth it? Am I am, am I going for the look? Or am I gonna live? Yeah. Right. All right. I'm gonna live for this look. Life, look. Should I look good? Should I be alive? Wow. Right. Look good. Be a alive. A lot of people want to do both, but it's a risky time right now, team. So, take care of yourself. Now, so. now, whether you have facial hair or not. Okay. The CDC also says you should be washing your hands frequently. That's the most important thing you can do, along with staying at home when you are sick. Mm -hmm. The reason you're staying at home when you're sick is because you're being a good Samaritan by not infecting others. The reason you're washing your hands is because the virus lives on surfaces and the virus lives on other people's bodies. It's airborne, right? It's airborne, but it also, it, it's airborne. It, it, it doesn't fly, it doesn't have wings, okay? Viruses don't have wings, they're not like bugs. So when, somebody, when a virus is airborne, it's actually being carried by dust particles. Uh. All right. So what happens with dust particles? It lands on your hands. Oh it lands on a desk. It lands on your phone. It lands on somebody else's phone. And then you touch it. Jeez. Now, when you touch, this is how people get sick. You touch it. It's not going in your hand. It's not. But what happens is you go, now, God forbid, mm -hmm. there's coronavirus on this desk. And I go, oh, you know what? I'm going to lick my fingers. I'm going to, you know, stick my hand in my you ear. You don't wash your hands before you, don't you wash eat your hand. fries. Or, or, or like just what I'm doing right now. You know what? I have an itch on my nose. I'm going to itch my nose. Or you know what? I have an itch on my eye. All of these things. Right, bite your nails. Right, right. Bite Ooh. my nails. All of these things, <laughs> all of these things that you're doing on with your hands, you There's know, your mouth, you your nose, it. your eyes, your ears, they're all holes into your body. Yeah. yeah. And then all of a sudden now, the virus that's on your hand it's is in now your in your body. body, which is why they're saying, wash your hands. Now, they've also warned older and at-risk travelers to avoid Japan, Italy, and Iran. Oh. Uh, it, I would think, I would think that if you're an elderly person, you're a sickly person or a young person, uh, those are the people who would be most at risk of having serious complications to coronavirus. Yeah. Only I'm just basing that on my own assumption because those are the at-risk people for the influenza virus as well. On a side note, my, my son is on a program and he was supposed to go to Italy on this program oh. and they've canceled it canceled. now. Yeah. They're going to Cyprus instead now. Wow. I want to, so yeah. my little cousin, she actually just got accepted for a study abroad in South Korea. Do you think they're going to cancel that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they uh -huh. should, right? Yes, uh, absolutely. But how, about, how about they don't? I, I would not be going to South and Korea right she, now. She I'm about to go. text her. Better, yeah, like, text better her. not go. You say, hey, cuz, <laughs> stay right where you are. Right. right? Yeah, I, don't want you, I don't want you getting no Aww. coronavirus. Yeah, she's 16. Is no, that no, too she young? Should, yeah, too young to go. Oh, hell too no. young to go to the coronavirus zone. It's yeah, risky. No. Very risky. Yeah, I wouldn't do it. You know, I, I just read that most of the largest French companies right now have suspended all of their employees from taking international business trips. Oh, wow. So French companies, you can't, you're not going on any business trips. They're not anywhere. risking it. Not the French anywhere. aren't risking it. I'm not, I don't blame them. Now, people are so scared that the stock market is in a tumble. Oh. I don't know if you noticed this or not, but the stock market is down more than 10% since the coronavirus. Why is this? Because, because people are going to be staying at home. Yeah, they're not going to be spending this is money. what we don't realize. It's, it's a, it's we a, get a lot from China. Right, right. Mm. Okay, they're, they're going to be staying at home, not spending money. People in China are not going to work. Work. They are not. The products are not going to make it out of China. People are not going to get on planes to do business. Right. Plane travel is going to go down. Mm. It's a domino effect. Yeah. Okay, Apple, who's, Apple iPhones are not going to be shipped. Where are they? They're in China. Have they stopped? Uh, there, there's stuff. part Products of the supply. Part of the supply chains are all being stopped. So now the stock market is mm. down more than ten percent. Oh. Okay. Now at more than ten percent, they call it a correction of the stock market. If the stock market dips more than twenty percent, they call it a bear market. We're now in a decline in, the de in a recession, recession or a depression. Oh, wow. We are getting there. We had the largest one-day drop in stock market history. 
today. Oh. Ever. Ever. Oh. Wow. Ever in the history of the stock market, and the Dow Jones never dropped as many points as it did today. Yeah. Uh -oh. Okay, now, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, he's yelling, there's nothing wrong here. We yeah. have, we're in good shape. Of course. And I've put Mr. HIV infection himself, <laughs> Vice President Mike Pence in charge. We're good. Now, now why, 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 I can't read that. It says low ratings, fake news at uh, MSNBC. They're all doing everything possible to make the coronavirus look, this is what Donald Trump says, look as bad as possible, including panic in markets. If possible, likewise, the incompetent, do nothing Democrat comrades are all wow. talk, no action. USA is in great shape. Why is Donald course, Trump- That's now, all he has. Now, <laughs> now, 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 why is Donald Trump saying all of this? He's saying all of this because we have an election coming up in, what are we now? We're now March, March in, in so about seven March. months. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, nobody likes Donald Trump. Either the people who support Donald Trump, for the most part, think he's a jerk. Right. Okay. I even, when I speak with Republicans, they all say the same thing. We don't like really what he has to say. That's we don't, wild. we don't, we don't like what he, how he talks to women. We don't like how he deals with women. We don't like his rough attitude. We don't like that he's tweeting all day. But you know what, we're gonna support him anyway because they're all supporting their own pocketbooks. We've talked about this time and time again. A vote for Donald Trump is a selfish vote for your pocketbook. That's that is for middle class, upper middle class, wealthy people, not working class people. Okay, if the stock market goes down 20%, we're in a recession, yeah. Who's voting for Donald Trump now? Ha! And Jeremy Goldberg said he misspelled he misspelled coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. And exactly. Exactly. He so put C A R O N A. So he needs <laughs> he needs the economy. This coronavirus came at the worst time for Donald Trump. Right. The only thing that derails Donald Trump is a bad economy. Uh, so that's uh, why that's so why is that he's the saying only good yeah. thing that comes now, out of it. Now yeah. now uh, in 2019. There were more than, there were 44 mass killings in the United States with 224 deaths. Okay. Oh. Um, there, so there were more people died of mass shootings in 2019 than okay. have died in the United States of coronavirus. Wow. Okay. We're not talking about any mass shootings. All we're talking about is coronavirus. Right. Just yesterday uh, at a uh, Coors factory brewery in Milwaukee, five people got killed in a mass shooting. Jeez. The gunman was a 51-year-old Milwaukee man who died by suicide. Wow. Uh, that was a total of six. Um, uh, in an email sent to employees by the CEO, Gavin Hartsley, he wrote, unfortunately, I'm devastated to share that we lost five other members of our family in this tragic incident. There are no words to express the deep sadness many of us feel right now. He was a disgruntled employee. Mm. He got fired or laid off. He came back to the factory and just started wow. shooting That's up the scary. place. That's what I was gonna ask next, if he yeah. was a former employee. That's so yeah. scary. Wow. So, so we're talking about everyone freaking out about coronavirus, and I think really what we need to be freaking out about is all these guns and violence in America. Yes, be concerned about coronavirus. I'm not saying not to. Right. I'm just saying there's a lot of other things that are killing us yeah. that we don't talk about right. other than coronavirus. And finally, we, we have to get to this as well. Uh, and there's so much here, I'm not even gonna get to everything, but I would be remiss not to talk about Harvey Weinstein. Ugh. Yes, he was convicted of rape and a criminal Good. sexual act. Um, the once powerful Hollywood mogul who was found guilty of rape in the third degree, uh, capping a landmark trial of the hashtag MeToo era. The jury in New York convicted Weinstein, he was 67 years old, of third degree rape of Jessica Mann, a former aspiring actress, as well as a count of criminal sexual act in the first degree against Mimi Haley, a former Project Runway production assistant. Now, there have been allegations, although these are only two women he has been found guilty of, there's gonna be another trial in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. but there's certainly been allegations by 40, 50, 60 well-known actresses that Harvey Weinstein Damn. was either sexually inappropriate or literally raped them. Wow. Okay, this is only two. Now Harvey Weinstein, right before the jury came back, he was joking around 
because he believed, I think, I don't know, I never spoke to the guy, but based on what I've read and what I saw, he believed he was getting off. Mm. And the reason why he believed he was getting off is that there, there was testimony that he had a relationship with these women. And as a matter of fact, the women had called Harvey Weinstein after the rape occurred mm. to ask him for help with their career. Mm. So his position was that it was a consensual, consensual. and why would I, how could I rape somebody and, still be in contact. and then still be in contact with them wow. after? And, and uh, what got him convicted was that there was a psychologist who, who was an expert in uh, rape psychology of women who came and testified to say that that sometimes is an appropriate response by a woman who tries to think that maybe she did something wrong rather, right. than, rather right. than the actual accuser, the accused or the rapist. Um, and as a matter of fact, the jury understood that from what the psychologist said, which I thought was really um, almost, you know, a, a landmark situation when it comes to understanding rape and sexual abuse and th having power over somebody else. Right. Uh, because people say, well, she went up to his hotel room, so therefore she was expecting it. So, or she wore something provocative, so therefore she was expecting it. Uh, neither of you, you uh, if I go up to apartment 9J uh, with Yo Yo, I'm not expecting anything to happen, but a woman should now have to, you know, right, you know, should be expecting it. Yeah. And, 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 and what the psychologist said was is that, in essence, it is very typical for women to respond this way. And the jury believed the women who were, uh, gave very detailed stories of uh, the rape of them by Harvey Weinstein, and he's going to jail for life. Wow, wow. for and life. And that, for life. And he is, and he is, um, he was a once most powerful man wow. in Hollywood. Uh, he produced Shakespeare in Love. Wow. Which unfortunately is one of my favorite movies, but now Jeez. I'm not going to watch it anymore because yeah. I know he's the producer. I don't want to give him any money. Nasty. But I love that movie. Yeah. But uh, no more. That's sad. Uh, Jill wants to know once he's in jail, does he get money? And the answer is, I I, I don't believe so because oh, the the, the movie was the movie was produced by Miramax, so I don't believe he's part of Miramax anymore. I believe uh. that the royalties but he would still go. Would probably get I don't know. I don't know. And I don't know enough about the deal. He's gonna put money on his books. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.